Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Today I want to discuss Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man by Steve Harvey. This book right here has gotten lots of controversy and uh, I just want to come and set the record straight. So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say about Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, then make sure that you stay tuned. <laughs> So family, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man by Steve Harvey was released in 2009 and it is a little over 200 pages of great detail for the ladies who just kind of don't know what's going on. So let, let me just say that Steve Harvey is kind of giving away some things that men generally talk about amongst themselves. However, let me just also say that I think that this is a really great um, guideline for ladies because in my personal opinion, he's not throwing the men under the bus. He is just helping the ladies out. And and gentlemen, just, just, just rock with me for a moment. Wouldn't you rather have a young lady who kind of knew how you think, what you're actually doing, now, if you're up to no good, uh, of course you're not going to like it. But let me just say, if you are one of the gentlemen who is ready to settle down, but you are not having much luck with the ladies because we think completely differently, and she's not able to relate to you as a man, she's doing a lot of things wrong, even though she kind of seems like she could have been a pretty decent woman, but you keep running into that. Different face, different body, but kind of the same experience. In my humble opinion, I say that Steve is basically giving us a guideline, kind of a cheat sheet, if you will, to help us understand you as men, right? Because we're trying to build healthy romantic relationships. So why not learn from a man, a man who's been there and done it nonetheless, and a man who's been married three times? He's actually getting it right this time. But a lot of it had to do with him going out there and playing the field, messing up. Experience is the best teacher. So when it comes to things like that, I mentioned in one of my other book reviews, and I can't remember right now, but I mentioned sometimes I go back and look through my books. Well, if you can look at this one, I have so many tabs in it. I have gone back and looked at this book. Not so much now, but when I first when I first picked it up in 2009 or 2010, whenever I pick, picked up the book, I read it and read it and read it. And also a lot of times um, uh, you guys want to know where did I get my information from? Well, this is one of the references that I use. So anyway, let's get into some of the things that the book actually addresses. So he talks about the way that men show their love. We know that men and women, of course, we speak different languages and we also love differently. So men actually do three particular things to show their love. They profess their love, which is actively saying it out loud, not even necessarily to you at first. It might be how he, um, what's the word, introduces you. How he introduces you to somebody, whether it's the girlfriend, hey, this my love, this my baby, this, this, whatever. It's a title. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a title behind it. So he professes it with a title. He provides for you. You know, you guys might be dating. He's paying for everything. Or, you know, you might try to pay. He don't want you to pay. He's providing for you. He's showing that he can take care of you. And then the last thing is that he protects you. So, and that one is self-explanatory. So the three are provide, profess, and protect. Uh, one of the other things that he talks about in, th in, in the book is the three things that every man needs. Every man needs support from their woman, loyalty from their woman, and as he call it, the cookie. Now the cookie, of course, is sex. So we know that men love to be supported, which all of us do, but that's one of the things that gives them the drive to keep pushing on, to keep coming back, to keep showing us their love, right? They also want loyalty. You all, you hear a lot of songs talking about how this ain't loyal. There's a lot of things in loyalty that men look for, and that's to be expected. And of course, the cookie is self-explanatory. If you're not having sex with your man, trust and believe. If he's not doing it now, he gonna get the cookie for somewhere else. So 
you got to give up the cookie. Now, that's just the bottom line. We're going to move on with life. <laughs> um, one of the very good things that I like is that he gives you five questions that you should ask any man that you are serious about. Serious about. And um, you'll kind of know if you even are going to ask these questions to the man based on how they're acting, based on if they're keeping in contact, based on if you guys are actually seeing each other on dates and, 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 and stuff like that. So you don't ask these questions to every man because every man is not qualified for you to ask all of these questions to. So the questions, what is the short-term goals? What are his long-term goals? What are his views on relationships? What does he think about you? And how does he feel about you? He also gives you an explanation or what you should be looking for because a lot of times um, men give surface answers to see if that'll satisfy you and he also lets you know how to probe a little bit deeper <laughs> in order to get the information that you actually need so those are just really good um, one of the last things that I want to address because this book has just so much information and I cannot talk about it. I'll be talking about this book all day so I want to give you his definition on sports fish versus a keeper and this is the woman this is the way the the man is looking at the woman so if he feels that you are a sports fish this is what he actually thinks about you and i want to read this to you you don't have any rules any requirements respect for yourself or guidelines and when and we men can pick up on your scent a mile away she's a party girl who takes a sip of her long island iced tea or a shot of her patron then announces to her suit that she suitor that she just wants to date and see how it goes and she's the conservatively dressed woman at the office who is a master of networking but clueless about how to approach men she has no plans for any ongoing relationships is not and is not expecting anything in particular from a man and sets absolutely not nary one condition or restriction on anyone standing before her she makes it very clear that she's just alone for whatever is getting ready to happen for sure as soon as she lets a man know through words and actions that he can treat her just any old kind of way he will do just that men will stand in line to sign up for to, <laughs> men will stand in line to sign up for that believe me now that's what he says uh, if men think that you are a sports fish now let me just read to you really quickly the definition that he gives men when men know that you are a keeper Never gives in easily, and the standards slash requirements start the moment you open your mouth. See, she understands her power and wields it like a samurai sword. She commands, not demands, respect, just by the way she carries herself. You can walk up to her and give her the best game, and while she may be impressed impressed by what you have to say, there's no guarantee that she's going to let the conversation go any further, much less give you her phone number and agree to give you some of her valuable time. Please understand that time is valuable. Men automatically know from the moment she opens her mouth that if they want her, they'll have to get in line with her standards and requirements or keep it moving because she's done with the games and isn't interested in playing. Please understand that. But she will also send all the signals that she is capable of being loyal to a man and a good and taking good care of him, appreciative of what he brings to the relationship and ready for love, true, long lasting love. Trust me and believe me, ladies, men understand where you are, even if you don't understand where you are. So if you are dealing with a relationship minded man and you come off as a sports fish, you don't even have to worry about him wasting his too much of his valuable time on you. you you just don't now if you're dealing with the player oh you right up his alley i'm just saying food for thought um a couple other things that he talked about i'm not gonna go into detail he talks about the age-old question of why men cheat um when should the kids meet the man that you're dating and also how to get the ring i would definitely give this 15 thumbs up as you can see all of my tabs in it i i don't read it as much now because i i don't have to i've mastered a lot of what he said but also it's just a really great read i'm giving steve harvey two thumbs up for all you haters out there who actually have not read the book and mad at him for giving away so many details i suggest that you even go pick up the book maybe you even know a young lady out there who needs some help she's not listening to anybody you can discreetly send her a gift 
this book, <laughs> Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. And the title, I will say that the title is a bit deceptive because we women, we're never going to be able to think like a man. Never, never, never. But if we can have tidbits of information on how to be able to decipher who you are, what you need, what you want, that makes for a better, a much more cohesive, a much tighter relationship. It's only going to help out. So definitely go pick it up. I will see you guys in the next video. Give me thumbs up. Deuces.